<laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So we've been seeing this egg video all over the internet. Scrambled eggs going into a pan, normal. Then they add the bread slices, and then they flop it together and boom, you have yourself a breakfast sandwich. There's this other version where they cut off the crusts of the bread and they use that as the bread. That is probably the easiest and fastest made breakfast sandwich I've ever seen. Let's see if it tastes good. All right, Julie's up to bat. You put the egg in and then you put the bread in right away, flip it a bunch of times, add the black sesame seeds, the lettuce, and then some type of ham piece. I gotta slice the crust off of this bad boy. This is getting hot, it's getting good. You've got practice doing this, JP. I don't. This is a big ass pan. I'm gonna grease it. Woo! Doing it. You got it. All right, okay. Shift it, shift it. It's too hot. I gotta watch it back again. When do I add the black sesame seeds right now? Ooh. I need a spatula. I just have this broken one. All right, it's cooking, let it cook. Is it off? <gasps> it's not exactly centered. <gasps> Ready? Nope. <gasps> it's okay. Now I gotta add the stuff. I have to be quick with it. And then a ham piece. Come on, egg. Fold like you're supposed to. Come on. Come on. God, these Instagram videos are like literally 20 seconds and it definitely takes a little bit longer than 20 seconds to do this. Flip this like that. Wow. And then flip this over. Oh wow, that really, that. I think we're proving out that this is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, wow, that's pretty good. I don't think it's exactly like the picture, but um, it probably tastes like it. I think I need cheese on this. I think it looks pretty good, Jules. The technique wasn't there, but the visual's there. <laughs> it's actually really good. I like the bread like that. Isn't it different? I don't hate it. It's like a savory French toast. We should call it breg. I never ate anything like that, so mission accomplished. Can we just eat cookies? Hey guys, we want to give a big thanks to our sponsor, Wix, because right now, Wix is supporting a ton of local businesses, one of which we found, which is cookies. As a food channel, we understand the importance of local businesses in the food community. We gotta stick together, plus cookies. Come on. Hey everybody, my name is Alicia Reedy. I am the owner and the mastermind behind the Mona Alicia Bates. And making people happy with my sweets means everything to me. The cookies are always really fresh. And I think that's one thing I definitely take a lot of pride in. And they have a really good shelf life too. Oh my God, we can build our own dozen. Banana split, cotton candy. Carnival. Chicken and waffle. <laughs> I really want to try like this maple bacon and those Lucky Charms. Oh, we have options. Pork. We got cookies. All right, so we got maple bacon, cotton candy, fruity cereal, luckily charmed. You ate the whole bacon off mm. the bit. Mm. That one's really good. Definitely would be good with milk. It tastes like cotton candy. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I wanna try this Mexican chocolate one. It looks like it has marshmallow on the top. Mm. It's actually healthy to eat chocolate every day. Whoa, what's that? It's dark chocolate cookies and cream. Probably like Oreos in there. You gotta eat this chocolate. Oh my god. Right? Mm -hmm. Try this one. Okay. This one's a banana split. There's banana in this cookie. Oh my god. This is like the icing on the cake with a cherry on top. <laughs> okay, recommendations. Cereal, bacon, cotton candy. Lucky Charms. Cookies and cream, dark chocolate, banana split. Did we just name all of them? We should just give her a call and tell her how amazing these are. How's it going? It's going good, I'm a floating head. I'm feeling it though. <laughs> but yeah, we were looking again at your website and it's like amazing how many different types of cookies you have. There's just so many options, so many mix and match things. Like it's just. Yeah. My daughter tries to help in there. She'll give me my ingredients if I need them. Oh, she's good. Give me one second, you guys. I'm so it's sorry. It's okay, it's oh, okay. you're fine. So the ordering process is fairly simple. Once you go to themalalisha.com, shop now from there you'll see at least 50 flavors on my website including three bundles that are the assortment of the build your own dozen which is creating your personalized cookie if you need it in a certain time frame add a note when everything is said and done you press check out is there anything that's new you can give us a sneak peek on i don't know if i should show the label but i'm um, gonna be 
I, I did see that Merlot one on there. You know what? I was this close to making that for you. I was so close. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> we highly encourage you to check out the MonaLishaBakes.com. We'll put a link in the description. And you'll also be supporting a family-run local business. So win-win. Julia, make me an egg. All right, put the toast in. Put the butter on. I'm gonna use mayonnaise because mayonnaise is better. Then layer cheese, 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 cheddar, cheddar, bacon, bacon, fold, fold. I can't look at this anymore. I just gotta do it. Into the pot. Bread, bread, mayonnaise, mayonnaise. Oh no, I forgot the oil. Now I'm screwed. This thing's gonna stick to this. Well then maybe you should just stop and start over. Round two, oil. <laughs> I think that's good. And then I realized when you flip it over, you want it to be like that, so. Wow, you're even following that part this time. Yeah, I just figured why not. Oh, look at it. Shaking. Now for the flip. Ready? Oh. It's too heavy. You should just use the spatula like the video. You got all the good tools now. There's no reason why you should mess this up unless you throw it in the air. Ready? Oh. oh. Yeah, add that cheese. Get that cheese on there. Cheese, 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 cheese. Pile it high with the cheese, JP. Don't be shy. And then you add bacon, right? Boom, just like the, the video. And I think we need like a lid because this cheese got to melt. It's all about that reveal. Start with the fold on the inside. This side folded for the last fold. JP, I think you gone done did it. Now we let the cheese melt. <gasps> it's not melting. Go to the microwave. Oh, look at that, it's so melty. There it is. It's gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Now push it together. Is it hot? It's hot. Oh my God, they look really burnt actually. They are. All right, we got it. This is an egg video, not cheese video. All right, right now we're gonna put the calorie count of that sandwich on the screen. Oh God, how much cheese did I use? <laughs> a lot. If this is actually street food, like you get it on the street, imagine like someone in the subway eating this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Maybe a hot dog. Candied egg yolks. And then they're grating it onto ice cream. <gasps> Callie. So the chef here at this restaurant called Cali in Los Angeles actually shows us exactly how to make this, which is perfect because I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Just gonna take some sugar and salt, mix it together, make some little divots for where the egg yolks are gonna go. They look great. Now I gotta get them all covered up. Careful not to break any yolks. It takes a week to cure in the fridge. We'll see you later. Oh my god, I can't wait. It's been seven days. So all we gotta do is dig them up and place them in some cool water to clean the salt and sugar off. And we're gonna put them in the oven for 30 minutes. It's done. It's like time didn't pass. Whoa, they're like apricots. That's safe to eat her. Yeah, and then we're gonna grate it on some ice cream. Is it coming on top of it? Oh yeah, it looks all golden and pretty. Is this gonna taste stupid? Comment right now if you would eat this. I'm kind of scared. That's amazing. It's like an extra special texture to the ice cream I've never had before. And it adds like that saltiness. I actually really freaking like this. And this was really easy to make. Mm. Does it taste like egg? Take a bite out of one of the yolks. I don't think that's the way you're supposed to eat this. It's good on ice cream though, right? <laughs> I would say do not eat it by itself. It'd be like eating a block of salt. It actually tasted like a salted gummy. It's definitely an experience I've never had in my life in my mouth. So this one's quite interesting. Uh, we got an Eggo wrapped in melted cheese and bacon, and then syrup is poured on top. I actually think this is a fantastic 
idea. So we start with the skewer of the egg going inside. I learned something today. I'm not very good at skewering. Cut here, cut here. They don't show this in the Instagram video. Okay, perfect. So he puts it in a pan, puts the butter, flips them, grills them, gets them all goody, and then we add the cheese. A little bit of bacon. Yeah, it's all about the fold. Yes. Oh yeah, there's the color. Oh yeah. It's perfect. But yeah, there we go. That's what we want right there, Jules. So grab another plate. Dude, I need a napkin. It's so cheesy. <laughs> Let me try that. Then you add your syrup. They just did this in the video. I probably recommend just having like a side dish of it because we're not animals. <sighs> Hands down, y'all gotta do this. No joke. Let me try. I, I don't even believe you at all. It's just cheese. No, it's not just cheese. Move over, Buster. I was thinking about just dipping it like a normal person. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. I know. It's literally so good. It's so good. That looks like street food chicken on a skewer. There's gotta be so many calories in this. Calories on the screen now. You can't look at that and tell me that's not a good idea. Oh my God, it's so cheesy. I think that's the best one we've tried so far. And it doesn't even have any eggs in it. My life. <laughs> With that being said, you want to try some more? Okay. Maybe we'll learn more. All right, guys. I saw this video on the internet. It's absolutely insane. I was so surprised and amazed at this. And then when I figured out how to do it, I was like, I got to freak somebody out. And the person I like to freak out the most is the person that I love, JP. I'd like you to spray oil on the pan. Thank you very much, sir. Very good. We're cracking eggs today on the channel. Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh. How did that even freaking happen? Are you actually stunned though? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am Julia Blaine. What is going on? I am Julia Blaine. No, but how'd you get little yolks? <laughs>